Welcome to Mystic Love Tarot everyone. I hope all of you are doing fine. My name is Aishwarya and I am here with a very interesting pick a card reading today. Today's topic is why did your future spouse fall in love with you above all other women? So we are going to look into why and how your future spouse or whoever you are meant to eventually end up with falls in love with you and what is so special about you and how does your presence make a difference to their life. So guys, if you like my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you want to book a private reading with me, the link is in the description below. Readings are available in English and Hindi. Please feel free to comment if this resonates with you and also give in your suggestions for the different pick a cards topic you want me to do. With that being said, as you can see, we have three piles here with three different images. So this is pile number one. We have this image. Pile number two. And pile number three. Today I'm going to advise you to take a deep breath and meditate on the piles and then pick the one you're most drawn to or if you're attracted to a certain image definitely that could be your reading. You can choose more than one pile if you're drawn to different piles. I would also like to remind you that these are collective readings so not all messages are going to resonate with you. Take only the ones that you feel is for you and leave the rest. Now let's begin with the Hello, reading. pile number one. Let's see what we have for you. We have five of pentacles. The hermit. The lovers. Knight of cups. And the sun. For the Romance Angels, we have Codependency, Romantic Feelings, Honeymoon, and Playfulness. For the C Melodies, we have Breathe, Optimism, and Rescue. Okay, so... Let's start with the Five of Pentacles. So with the Five of Pentacles, with this card, I feel that your, your future spouse has gone through a lot of struggles in their childhood. They have faced financial difficulties or they had strict parents or single parent. And that is the reason they have had to sacrifice a lot while growing up. I feel that this person feels... Uh, Money is the most important thing in life and people respect you or look up to you if you have material benefits. I'm also getting that this person is very emotional and sensitive on the inside but his life experiences have roughed him up so he comes off as mean and rude who doesn't give a shit about anything. I feel right now this person is busy making money. Now. His goal is to be financially stable. It is like he's on a quest to prove the world that he deserves respect and appreciation. I'm also getting that he thinks he has lacked emotional support growing up. You know, like uh, he has always been told that uh, men don't cry or like men are stronger. And so you always have to be strong or like the world is so cruel and uh, weaknesses of any kind or emotions will not help you survive or maybe all of this is his own perception because of all the struggles and experiences that's, that he has had as a child and this person's emotions are also I feel buried deep inside. Now when I say he I'm talking about the masculine energy and not the gender so if this is your energy I'm referring to you. So take as it applies. Okay, so let's talk about 
the hermit here. So I feel this person is kind of a pessimist. Like when something good happens in his life, he doubts it. He feels like he's unworthy of love or affection or kindness. So when something good happens without a struggle, he feels, how can the universe be kind to me? Or instead of enjoying the moments, he doubts it. So I also feel for some of you, he walks his path alone because he does not have much expectations from people around him. He could also be an old soul or a very wise man. I'm also getting... He could have multiple personalities, like, like he's wearing a mask. He behaves differently with different people in his life, like he's different with his family, very different with his friends and with co-workers. He's... He's very, very, you know, mean or rude or somebody who is always putting people in their place. And because he comes off as a superficial jerk at his workplace, I feel people respect him and do not try to mess with him. He could also hold an important position at his workplace, I feel. Now let's talk about this codependency card. So I think your future spouse has been in codependent relationship in the past and I'm also getting that when he has opened up and showed his true self, he has been betrayed or hurt and I think he has also been taken advantage of, you know, emotionally by people he loved or had serious attachments with and that's the reason he feels that people are always going to break his trust so he kind of keeps himself away from feeling things too strongly and for some of you i think this person has had a lot of addictions in the past maybe alcohol or drugs or chain smoking you know as a, as an escape mechanism to cope with reality So with the romantic feelings card and the lover's card, I think this is your energy. This is the feminine's energy. Now, I feel this could be a twin flame energy. You could be marrying your twin flame. And this person has a lot of genuine love for you. Definitely this person cares about you. He feels like you understand him at a deeper soul level. It could also be a spiritual conne connection. And this person really admires your beauty. But he also feels that you are very intelligent and wise. He feels like you are the perfect match for him. I feel he is in awe of your purity and innocence. And the fact that you are unapologetically yourself. And that is something that really attracts him to you. He sees that you do not wear a false mask or there is no facade when they look at you. And you motivate him to be true to himself too. So these are really beautiful cards. Now with the Knight of Cups. So I think that this person wants to charge in and express how he feels so I'm strongly getting that you have already met this person or you already know who I'm talking about and this person is in your environment currently but they have not yet expressed their feelings. I also feel that you have strong and deep feelings for this person too and I think very soon you are going to get an offer of love or commitment from this person. And for some of you, I am hearing it could also be a proposal. I feel that in his heart, this person knows that you are the one for him. 
or the fact that he wants to spend the rest of his life with you. So with all these romance angels, God, I feel, I feel like this person wants to be around you and he likes to touch you. See, we have three cards and I feel like this person really, you know, wants to hold you, maybe hold your hands, kiss you or hug you. So I feel currently you are apart or there's distance between you two and this is why this person really strongly feels that he needs to spend time with you. I also feel that even after getting married, this person is going to be madly in love with you and your married life will be extremely blissful. I also feel that this person will express his love a lot through physical intimacy. And with this honeymoon card, we have enjoyed the bliss of holiday time together. So you are going to meet this person somewhere near water I'm getting because of the water and uh, or water is the place where he is going to express how he feels and maybe you take things to the next level. For some of you, I feel you are going to spend quality time with your future spouse in the near future. Within a year, you are going to meet this person. And when you meet him, you will feel this person has genuine love for you. This person views you as his world. And I feel you are his anchor. You are also someone who teaches him to follow his heart, to follow his dreams, his passions. You know, like if he wants to earn a lot of money, you will tell him, do it for yourself, don't do it for the world. He feels you are somebody who is unaffected by the harsh cruelties of life. Now let's come to this card. We have rescue, help others in need or ask for assistance when you need it. So this person sees you as his rescuer. Like he knows that you understand his struggles, you understand why he is the way he is and you accept him for who he truly is. You do not judge him or expect him to behave a certain way or be true to his image. And he's mesmerized by how, by how clear you are in life about who you are and what you truly want your life to be and what is truly important to you. And it feels like his life was chaotic before you, but with you, everything seems to be taken care of. Now, the sun card makes me feel that this person feels you are his sunshine. You are a beacon of light and hope in his life. You are literally his life force. With you, he feels he can be vulnerable. You inspire him to be his true self and he derives his energy from you. So he sees you as a positive, joyous, loving, nurturing, compassionate human being. You truly are. And I feel at times he feels you are too good to be true and he doesn't deserve you. But you are his light, always guiding his path. So uh, I feel you are not only his partner, you are his mentor, his friend, guide, critique and inspiration I'm getting. He loves the way you support him, the way you take care of him when he fails, the way you motivate him to do better, the way you handle his flaws, the way you appreciate him when he does something of great worth. So, I'm f so this is a very good energy that I'm feeling right now with the Sun card. Very optimistic. Now with that we come to the Optimism card and we have after each rainstorm there will be clear skies. This is exactly what I felt with the Sun card. Very optimistic, very positive. So I feel you have brought a lot of hope and optimism to his life. 
You have showed him the path to reconnect to his true self, to his emotions, to feel things strongly, to be vulnerable, to believe in love and compassion. Do not forget that not everyone will betray him or hurt him or break his heart. You have taught him it's okay to have emotional ties and attachment with people. You have taught him to be more trusting of himself and others. And this person truly feels like you are an angel in his life. I feel this person is very loyal and so he will always respect, protect and treat you the way a man should. I heavily sense your partner could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces or a Gemini or a Leo with the Sun card. But I'm strongly feeling water energy here. With this playfulness card, now this is very interesting because I feel that you are very childlike. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So I feel you are very childlike, um, innocent and light-hearted energy and that energy lets him connect with his youthful spirit. He feels like he has definitely not met a woman like you who knows when to be an empress and when to connect with her inner youthful innocent spirit. Um, I think in your married life also both of you will constantly try to recapture romance by, ad by adding some kind of playfulness or spark in your life like you could plan surprise dinner dates or he could shower you with gifts or flowers or maybe you both decide to stay at home and cook dinner together or watch your favorite show together so just a way of rekindling spark by spending some time together some quality time together so i feel currently you engage in playful conversations with this person or maybe for some of you even both of you flirt with each other Now with this breathe card, I feel like you are like a breath of fresh air in this person's life or that's how they view you. You also teach him to stop, you know, to take a breath because you understand this person works a lot. And this person loves you for teaching him to not take things personally in life and you also teach him to let go and practice forgiveness. You teach him to go with the flow and be true to who he really is because that is all that matters. So this is a beautiful message here. We have break from beneath the water surface and soar up beyond the turquoise sea. So your future spouse seems to me as an absolutely wonderful person and you are his wish come true you are more than what he deserves and so he will love and cherish you forever he also wants to be a better man for you as you because he has never met a woman who easily accepts him for who he, who he truly is and i think this person will constantly try to make you happy and make your life beautiful and you will do the same for this person. So that is all I'm getting for today. I hope this resonated. If it did, please mention in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Much love and light to you. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Hello pile number two. Let's find out what your future spouse loves about you. I'm just going to lay these cards. We have the Fool, Ace of Wands, King of Cups, the Moon, and Ten of Cups. The Romance Angels deck. We have Unrequited Love, Calling in Your Soulmate, True Love. And deception 
for the C melodies we have flow opportunity and take the helm just have a look at the spread first and then we'll get started okay so let's start with the fool so I think when you meet this person you will feel he is very immature who has a playful attitude towards everything in life his life choices are quite unconventional he doesn't think about the consequences of his action while making decisions now when I say he I am talking about the masculine energy here so take as it resonates Now, sometimes this person makes impulsive choices and I feel he is always looking for new opportunities in life and is ready to make the most of it. Now, I'm getting you have met this person at a really young age, maybe at school or you have mutual friends. So, you could have seen this person at a at a get together or party a couple of times but just from a distance so you know he is one of those guys who would make people laugh or do something lame to get people's attention and and when you look at this guy you would be like nah this guy is not my type that is what I'm getting from this card Now, let's see what this card is about. So, unrequited love. Now, I feel like this person has been attracted to you for quite some time now. And it could have been very well, you know, love at first sight. But he feels like you are way out of his league. But he has genuine feelings for you and he doesn't really see you as someone he can have a long, you know, a short term relationship with. And I feel he wants something long term or long lasting, something more meaningful and fulfilling with you. I'm also getting that this person feels like you deserve the best of everything to give you the best of everything. So I feel like this person has been in relationships in the past which has not been quite uh, satisfying where he felt like no one is good enough for him other than you. He thinks that he, he thinks that you feel like he is a complete loser and you will never go out with him or consider dating and hence he keeps his feelings to himself. Feel. He looks at you as someone who gives him a new purpose, a new direction to his life and he wants to make himself worthy of your love, your affection, your appreciation. His feelings towards you are full of passion and fire and he wants to feel the same passion from your side. With this take the helm card, I feel that currently this person is taking charge of his life he no longer wants to be the fool he wants you to see him as the king and he's willing to make the transformation for you he wants to be the man you desire and he's working towards it so we have be in control of your own ship I also feel that he could be a creative person who is driven by his soul's desire and that is the reason he makes a different life choices like he would prefer acting a theater or uh, being a musician any day over a six-figure salary at a law firm so he's that type of a person now look at the way this king is looking at his cup this person is looking at you the same way I feel 
this person wants to cherish you he wants to be the protector and the provider for you he wants to offer you emotional satisfaction along with financial stability and with this opportunity card I feel this person is looking for a chance where you notice him as the king. I feel he will come forward or make a move accomplished much and he has much more to offer. So sooner or later he will come with an offer you can't refuse. So I'm also getting you will see him at a party after a long time. And I want to be able to believe that this is the same guy. I don't know, could be true for a few of you. You will instantly feel the connection and attraction between the two of you. So, okay, I see something else here and I need to put it out there. Now I'm seeing when you meet this person, it could be like a reunion of some sort where old friends are reconnecting after a long time and you see him talking to some people and you ask your friend who is this guy and then you get to know that he's the same guy you thought was immature or lame back then and you tell yourself and you tell yourself that this guy has actually turned his life around i don't know why it was so specific but anyway could be true for someone out there now this guy has made serious efforts for you in his life for you to notice him and to see his real worth. Now I know this feels like a classic rom-com, but hey, you never know. Okay, so let's continue. So we have two very important cards here. We have true love and calling in your soulmate. So of course, this is your true love your soulmate, your divine counterpart. I feel like this person already knows you are his wish upon a star. And this person has also been manifesting you through prayers, affirmations, visualizations, dreams. And, and currently I feel you are unaware, but when the time and energy will be right, you will be brought together. So with the moon and deception card, I feel like this person has a very different side to him which he keeps hidden and I'm getting that this person has a fear of rejection or maybe this could have been a childhood issue. You know like this person thought he doesn't fit in for instance when uh, kids his age would play video games, he would watch a documentary on aliens or space or when kids are riding their bike on the streets or playing with water balloons or water guns, this guy is busy painting or shows interest in cooking. I hope you're getting what I'm trying to say here. What I mean is that this person has had issues fitting in the group when he was a child because he thinks a little different or out of box at least for his age and so I feel that he has over the years figured out a way to fit in by masking his true nature and I feel this happy-go-lucky humorous guy who is always making people laugh is just this is just a facade to not feel left out or so that people like him and he doesn't feel rejected. So I feel this person is very knowledgeable, very intellectual and wise and with you, with you he will be his true self. You will fall deeply in love with his truth. That I can definitely feel. with this Ten of Cups. This person views you as a strong, powerful, independent woman and I feel like you are someone who is very straightforward. You do not like 
If you do not like something, you say it as it is. He loves that you are honest with yourself and with him. You do not sugarcoat things. That is a big reason he feels you fit right into his heart and his home. And with you, he doesn't have to be someone else. He doesn't have to wear a false mask. He can be true. He can be his true self, even if he is silly sometimes. I feel like he will let you take control in the marriage or with things related to home and family affairs. He will let you feel like you are the boss, though both of you will be making decisions together. And I and I'm getting he admires how caring, hardworking, dedicated, loyal and generous you are. You constantly support him in his work and gives him the space to grow individually, which in turn strengthens your bond and your relationship. And I'm getting you you both are not the kind of people who would take each other for granted. You make efforts every day to make things better. He obviously dreams of a happy home with you and that is how it will be. Now this is a family man so if you're wondering how your married life is going to be, I would say better than what you have imagined. So with this flow card, I feel you give him the courage to flow in any direction without drifting away. He feels like with you in his life, he can get through difficult times. He can face any kind of challenge, you know, like if he is in a dilemma or you have difficulty making a decision, you will keep him focused and you will guide him towards the right path. You keep him centered even in chaos. That is what I am feeling. And I am already in love with this person. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope this resonated with you. Much love and light. See you next time. Hello pile number 3. Let's see what we have for you. Knight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, The Chariot and Temperance. For the Romance Angels we have Attraction, Let Go of Control Issues, New Love and Soulmate. With the same melodies we have meditate, move and turbulence. The Knight of Wands. So I feel your future spouse is going to be very charming. He is charismatic, talkative, dynamic and very passionate. Now very strong masculine energy. When I say he, I'm talking about the masculine energy and not the gender, so take as it applies. He is kind of like a go-getter. He usually gets what he wants and women generally don't say no to him because he's irresistible. I think he's kind, he's uh, the kind of man who is pursued by women and he knows that he's very hot. I also feel like his work entails a lot of traveling, like uh, maybe he is a lawyer or an attorney or... A supervisor who has to manage various departments or branches at different places. He could be someone who holds a high position at his job and uh, this man is all about action. If he wants something he pursues it and he gets it. Because he is well travelled I feel he has lots of stories and experiences to share. He likes to speed up his actions. He is not the one to sit and think and then make a pros and cons list and then act. I feel he is also impulsive at times when it comes to taking decisions or making judgments about people. With this attraction card, when you meet this person, I feel like you will meet this person through work 
but you know like you attend a conference together or a seminar or he comes to your workplace representing his firm and you have a presentation or a report to review something like that so i feel he will be attracted to you but you will look at him but not notice him while he will definitely do more than just looking and i feel like all the ladies in your workplace will be talking about him and you will be like okay he was hot but there are hotter men out there or more like you will feel he's such an attention seeker the eight of pentacles now this person is well off and he lives a luxurious life he has a good taste for finer things in life and he is a perfectionist he is good at his job and he tries to learn and master different skills so don't be surprised if you get to know he is a good jazz dancer or has mastery over some kind of dance form or knows how to play a guitar or a violin a piano you know something of that kind uh, so can you see how this man is looking at this pentacle this coin here so this is how he sees you as a perfect woman who will not be impressed just because he has a luxurious car or just because he's charming mostly because when you see him for the first time you weren't quite as impressed as other women usually are and so he knows getting you will not be easy i'm also getting that he has been with a few women in the past who have been attracted to his good looks or his accomplishments and it was more like a superficial relation relationship the seven of pentacles now i feel like this man knows he has to make serious efforts in order to get you or to make you say yes to a date so like i said he doesn't wait he just acts so things will escalate quickly for him and he will straight up be like i want to ask you out because i like you and i feel like you will say no during the initial days he will reject him a couple of times which will make him pursue you even more he will feel like you are a special woman and i think he will chase you unless you say yes and this is not like he wants something and he gets it kind of thing i feel he sincerely wants to make efforts for you and he feels like you are worth all the effort at heart i feel he is a true romantic who wants to earn the love and respect Now with this turbulence card I'm getting that when you reject him a couple of times initially he will feel out of balance and confused because he will think he blew up his chance and at this point he doesn't want to let you go he wants an opportunity with you he wants something for real with you so I think he's going to come around and be like I think we got off the wrong foot so let me make it up to you and you will see the sincerity in his approach and you will accept his offer with this chariot card this person sees you as the strong-willed opinionated independent female who is her own boss she is not someone who is going to take shit from anyone she is the kind of woman who is going to be equally happy without a man in her life she doesn't need a man for the sake of it I feel like you put him in his place a lot and he seems to love that. He enjoys that you challenge him every time. And with this with this move card, I feel things are going to move very fast once you got once uh, you guys are together. You know, just couple of months into dating he will be like let's move in together or let's get married something about solidifying the relationship because he genuinely feels like he wants to spend the rest of his life with you and this to some extent is because he is afraid to lose you his insecurity makes him want to put a ring on your finger and to tell the world that this gorgeous woman is mine let go of control issues 
So I feel like this person has control issues, like he always wants to do things his way. Maybe he was the dominant one calling the shots in his previous relationships. And when he meets you, he knows he has to change his ways. You are not the one he can control. And I feel because of this, you will have a lot of arguments and bickering during the honeymoon phase of your relationship. But uh, do not worry, I am getting once you are married, things are going to get a lot better because you two will understand each other much more. And he will realize who he married and he needs to let go of his player attitude, which eventually he will. With this temperance card, you bring a kind of balance into his life. You know how this person is so fiery, passionate, very fast moving energy, always moving forward and taking action. He keeps traveling, so he is always on the go. So you teach him To meditate, to slow down, to rest and recuperate, to take some time to breathe. You bring a kind of calmness and serenity to his life. I feel like your energy is naturally so pleasant and soothing that you create stability in your relationships. You could also be very different from one another, like very dominant and strong individual personalities, but together you create magic. I also feel like a lot of people would be jealous of your relationship. It would be difficult for them to comprehend how these two people could be together. You are very much like fire and ice and this dynamic keeps changing. Like when you exhibit fiery energy, he would be calm and collected and vice versa. With this soulmate and a new love card I had a strong feeling that this is someone brand new you do not know this person but I feel like very soon you are going to meet this person so this could be your soulmate or twin flame I think all the piles got soulmate or twin flame energy when you meet this person and have doubts regarding their intention or love, know that their feelings are real and they genuinely want a lifelong commitment with you. Now as far as the zodiac signs are concerned, I feel both of you could be fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or the masculine could very well be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn and the feminine could also be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio or it could be any sign for that matter. So I think that is it file number three. Thank you for watching. Much love and light. See you later. Bye bye.